obviously I'm gonna fly like really fucking to the set. Do you know all the postures? <laughs> hello, hello, Dr. Jessica here with Find It in Farmington. And today I'm gonna introduce you to Miss Lindsay, and she owns Willow Grove Studios here in Farmington. Oh, Lindsay. Nice. I have a home studio here in Farmington that I opened uh, just a couple years ago. I um, started in the photography industry nine years ago. And I just started shooting for friends and family, and I did newborn sessions and kids and families, and that was kind of my that was my start. And then five years ago, I left my full time job to do this. Who is your favorite person to work with of all the people? I have a new love for newborns. I went to a workshop in Nashville with one of the nation's best newborn photographers and I gained a lot of knowledge and confidence in my work and I just love to create little simple setups mm -hmm. and that showcase baby. You really get to build a relationship with the family so you get to see them on the day of their wedding right mm -hmm. and then you probably get mm -hmm. to see them in a few years. When they have babies. Yeah. <laughs> yes. One of my brides from last fall just announced that she's pregnant and I'm like ah, it's so exciting. I mean they they let you into their lives and like you are there capturing like the most important mm -hmm. days and moments like as their family is created and grown and, and whatever. It's just, um, it's a really great honor. So with the name Willow Grove, so she yes. has changed her name. You used yes. to be L Photography. Yep. yep. So we're gonna hear a little bit about how she came up with Willow Grove. A name change had kind of been on my heart for a while. I wanted a name that better reflected the client experience. One thing that my clients always say to me and have always said to me is, this is like the most stress-free photo session we've ever had. Or there was a really important period in my life where I lost a loved one to suicide. I heard the analogy around that time that um, willow trees move with the wind. They're mm -hmm. flexible, and when a storm comes and the wind blows, they're they're flexible. They they can move. Yeah. Um, whereas oak trees, some people are more like oak trees, and oak trees snap. They're more rigid. Mm -hmm. And so I felt like the experience and the way that I operate my sessions is really like a willow tree. We get in a situation with kids where they're not super interested or they're burning out or they need a little time or whatever. I always come up with ways to still get what we need. With just being flexible and being able to go with the flow to get what you need mm -hmm. um, is something that has been at the core of my business from the beginning. And then Grove, I grew up on Pleasant Grove Road, so Grove is a nod to my upbringing. So Willow Grove and then studios, I actually have multiple studios. So I have a home studio here in Farmington. And then a good deal of my business is actually done in my hometown area in Iowa. So oh, I travel wow. quite a bit to Iowa. And there's a yoga studio there that I have partnered with that I pop up inside of when yeah. I do newborns and milestone sessions there. So that's where studios comes from. Mm -hmm. So I have multiple studios. Being that you follow families through their journey, do yeah. you have your own family that you See? photograph? I do. My husband and I have two kids. We have a boy and a girl. So they're used to getting their photos taken quite a yeah. bit. And my daughter's in the stage. She's almost three and she's in this stage where like the camera comes out and she just wants to say cheese and I like, yeah. didn't even ask her teacher to do that she just kind of picked it up and, yeah ah oh, Maddie let's go for something a little more flattering than <laughs> yeah, forcing, forcing the smile right? <laughs> if there's more of like the candid photos and mm -hmm. then the post photos do you have a favorite yes. my beginning is in pose photography and I have begun dancing in uh, a little bit more of the candid. My initial goal is to get the, the pose where like everyone's looking and smiling at the camera and so you're guaranteed to get that in your gallery but now there is some more like interactive or kid looking off and it kind of just depends on which um, package you select. Mm -hmm. If you select a package where you're going to want more photos then you know that's a way that I tend to mix in more of the the candid ones. Mm -hmm. I booked a session. It's from outfit selection all the way through to the products they order that they're going to hang on their wall or wow. give as gifts or whatever. Okay. So I kind of handhold. They don't feel like outfit selection is a strength, and they're right. you know they want help with does this pattern look okay with this color, this color, this color? Or how you know how should we do this? I do help people with that, and then um, I help people design things to hang on the walls too. Yeah. So, 
This is called an accordion album, and this comes with one of the packages, and it has like a concealed magnetic closure, and then, um, yep, it just kind of pulls out even photos on both sides, and then the the text can be customized to whatever people want it to be. Those are great gifts for grandparents. People put them in their purses. They have them up in their office, on their desk. And so this is called an heirloom album. And um, these are really popular for weddings. They're meant, designed to last for generations. So they're great for a coffee table, or some people will set them down like this and put um, like succulent on top of it or something like that. So it's um, neutral enough that it can be a decorative piece and um, or it can go on a bookshelf. Album. And then my favorite piece of wall art is called a print wrap. And you can probably see here, there's like a little foam um, piece on the back that allows the photo to sit a little bit off the wall to give it a little bit of dimension, kind of a modern twist on the canvas. And people have really been loving these since I started offering them. Thanks for joining us, Lindsay. Yeah. I hope you guys got to know her a little bit better. Feel free to comment below if you have any other questions and she'll go ahead and answer them. Yes. It's good to uh, connect with a fellow Farmington business owner. So thanks for having me. Yeah.